my name is Gina from Haunted Flower and this weekend I saw Pandorum. Pandorum is a thriller set in space where two men wake up from hypersleep and with almost no memory of their identities or their missions on the ship. As they creep around the ship discovering alien horrors and savage primal behaviors from other awoken humans, they discover they might be humanity's last hope for survival. This movie is directed by Christian Albert. The set of Pandorum looks so much like the set of the first Alien movie. It, the iron hallways and walkways, all the dark metal everywhere. It, it's just dark everywhere on the ship. And there's one really bright lab room. If the ship is from Alien, then the actual creatures are more like the creatures in The Descent. The movie uh, with all the cave-dwelling mutants. Slimy, smooth skin, and they're adapted to a dark environment and they can't see very well. They move really, really fast and the hand-to-hand -hand combat is so fast that the camera has a hard time actually following along with it and the editing kind of makes your head spin a little bit. Now this movie is not Wally. -E. The colony of humans in this movie sent into space did not become obese smoothie chuggers. Um, most of them are asleep anyway. While being very high-tech, the ship is very bare bones. You would think uh, being a few hundred years more, we'd be a little bit more advanced, but they definitely didn't take any care into comfort. And I understand that most of the humans were asleep, but I was kind of looking for more signs of an advanced age. However, gadget of the year goes to the neon light razor that you just kind of hold over your skin and you get like the smoothest shave ever. That needs to go into production immediately. I think we can all agree upon that. Dennis Quaid may be the first billing, but Ben Foster is actually the real shining star in this film. His reactions and his survival instincts kicking in, they feel very real, they feel very gruesome, and he kind of takes you through these trials at his perspective. And Ben Foster has gone from that sweet angel in X-Men 3 to that uh, kind of grubby sidekick outlaw in 310 to Yuma. And he takes strengths from both of these characters to create this character, Bauer, who is a corporal flight team uh, technical engineer guy. But he's very intense and he's not afraid to get in there and get dirty. And he's kind of a real boy scout because of his high integrity. And he plays this balancing act really well. He comes across realistic as a person fighting between authority and morality. Very fun to watch him. I think he's really grown as an actor. He does a great job. Dennis Quaid spends most of the movie communicating with Ben Foster over a radio system, trying to guide him to the ship's main power source so they can do a little bit of a reboot. Kind of comes off as a bumbling commanding officer. And after seeing him as a bumbling president in American Dreams, I kind of feel like he's making a lot of the same choices here and how he's portraying it. But looking closer, you start to see more of the subtleties his, he is using in his character. And this makes it have greater depth over time. And you can tell that this is only something that can be done with a seasoned actor. However, I do think he could have done a better job. Or maybe someone like a uh, Kevin Spacey or Harrison Ford could have filled the role out a little bit better. The girl who plays Nadia, she does an excellent job with the physicality and for an environmental scientist, the girl must be doing a lot of jogging and lifting weights. She handles herself well. To sum up my views, I believe this movie is very engaging. I was on the edge of my seat for the last third of it. I thought it was really exciting. If you like sci-fi thrillers, you should definitely go see this movie. Uh, especially if you like Alien, any of the Alien movies, Alien vs. Predator, or The Descent, you should go see this movie. I think you will like it. It's a hard genre to do, it's really hard to come up with new ideas, and yes, it does borrow some ideas to make this story, but I think it's a very entertaining and interesting movie. It keeps you really involved. Thanks for listening! So, Collins says hi. Hi, Collins. You say hi. That's my sweetie. I can't do a haunted flower without him. <laughs>